What up, people? Let's get right into it. Today, we're talking maintenance on the Oklahoma Droz Bronco Drum Smoker. We got foil, and we're taking that right to the grate. Uh, don't overthink this, man. You just want to use that foil and literally scrape off as much uh, crud and dust and, and debris as you can. So that's what you'll see me going through and doing here. Next, I'm um, knocking off all the, uh, the ash from the... Uh, diffuser plate and then I'm also scraping that down too a lot of folks you know they use different types of cleaning sprays and all that but what I like to do is maintain the uh, the flavor and the seasoning of my grill and my smoker so I just use the foil scrape everything down use a little bit of elbow grease and once you find a good rhythm you'll start to really knock this stuff off and it won't take you too long then you'll see me um, hop on the inside of the grill and just hit it everything with a uh, with the wet dry vac. Uh, I'm not trying to like perfectly clean this thing. I'm just trying to keep up the maintenance and um, again, you know, keep the integrity of the the seasoning that's been applied to this whole thing. So, remove all that stuff. Get down to the base. You see me put the plate pieces back together. You got the charcoal basket. You know, you got that diffuser plate that's gonna go back in there as well. Um, and of course, the uh, the grill grate too. So at this point, I'm I'm happy with how we're sitting. Now we're gonna hit the exterior of the smoker with some cooking oil spray. And I'm just wiping this thing down. Um, also, if you wanna go the extra mile, what you can do is, after you apply this cooking oil to the, the exterior of the smoker or grill, you can heat it up real hot to really get it to, to set on there, kind of similar to what you would do with a, a cast iron skillet. But with that said, it's that simple, man. Your grill will look great on the outside, still produce awesome flavors, and that's how I maintain my Bronco drum smoker.